There are 100 reasons why we love street outlaws, and one of them certainly is the unpredictability of it. While main cast members of the show do tend to win most of the times, there are many times that racers with very less appearances surprise everyone by pulling a fast one over our regular main cast. One of such elusive racers in the show has been Jerry Berg. Did something happen to Jerry Berg? What happened to Jerry Berg? Don't worry too much, nothing that serious has happened to Jerry Berg. Usually when we report what happened to a specific cast member from Street Outlaws, it usually involves a car crash or something similarly dreadful. So relatively, Jerry Bird was not in that much trouble, but he was a victim of theft. We came across a post on Facebook almost a couple of years ago in 2018, which appeared to be from Jerry's brother, Daryl Bird, requesting people to share it. The post was a picture of a big engine which was stolen for them. The Bird Brothers listed that they were ready to pay $10,000 in reward to anyone who could help them find their valuable stolen engine. They also stated that their stolen property was still in New Orleans as transporting such a massive stolen object away from the city would be very hard. Another racer has also appeared on Street Outlaws weighed in on the matter and estimated that the stolen engine could fetch quite a handsome price ranging from $70,000 to $85,000, depending upon what has been done to the machinery. The unnamed racer went on to add that most teams in the competition do tend to have only one of such motors, but it was not unheard for, for them to have two motors. So luckily, whether Jerry Bird was able to retrieve their motor or not, the team luckily had a spare around so he could continue to compete in the No Prep Kings event happening at that time. He had also crashed his Blue 4 Probe in the No Prep Kings a year before that in Arizona. Jerry Bird's Racing Background Jerry Bird was among the cast of the Street Outlaws short-lived spin-off series Street Outlaws New Orleans. He continues to appear in Street Outlaws, No Prep Racing, which many fans believe is the rebranded version of Street Outlaws, New Orleans. Jerry Bird takes pride in being born and bred in the bays of New Orleans. That's what people don't understand, he told Dragzine. I'm really from the bayou. That's where we grew up, on the water. And whether on water or land, the culture there instilled a competitive drive in him, early. As he explains it, we just like to race. I mean, we race everything, we race boats and bikes, cars, dwallies, whatever. We try to be fastest in anything we got out here. It was his brother Daryl who was the first drag racer, while Jerry was a motorcycle builder and general repair resource. However, he began getting interested in four wheels and particularly drag racing, while his brother grew tired for it after getting in an intense on-track fire. Jerry being a 100% guy that he has bought in 1970 Cameroon and showed his natural talent from the get-go. He shortly after changed to a Ford Pro, which he races still now. He is a versatile driver who can win races in any racetrack and even finished second in the 2017 Bristol Dragway Special, losing to Justin Big Chief Shearer from Street Outlaws. While Justin took home the $100,000 grand prize, he also did not go empty-handed as he won the $25,000 as the prize for the runner-up. Catch more of Dirt Bird in Street Outlaws No Prep Kings next season.